Dr. Ria Zaga, consultant plastic surgeon, uh, Harley Clinic Group. So here on Harley Street, I often get people asking me about breast augmentation. One of the important factors to consider, as you know from my other videos, is soft tissue thickness. So how thick are the tissues overlying the muscles, the skin, the fat, the gland? And that's an important um, determination of whether the implant will be placed over the muscle or under the muscle. So we have two implants, two sets of mock soft tissues, a thin soft tissues and a thick soft tissue. How does it actually look? And this is what I mean. If you have thin soft tissue coverage, then you can see every little edge of that implant much more easily. If there's any rippling, it will show through much more. If there's an edge of the implant, it will show through so much more. Whereas if you've got thick soft tissues and you're blessed with thick soft tissues, then you can have a much smoother appearance of the implant in your soft tissues. So it's much less, less likely to show. You're much less likely to look like you've had breast implants. You have a more natural look and feel. And um, that's really what it means to have thick soft tissues versus thin soft tissues and why that's important.